Okay. Um, Method Man had done an interview a while back, and he he re, uh, he rehashed a situation where he he bumped into Suge and Tupac at the House of Blues, and it was after one of his uh, I think it was RZA um, got into a situation at Club Six Six Two. Do you know about that? Can you can you speak on what happened? Well, I don't remember the House of Blues situation, but I'm sure I was there. If, if Tupac and Suge was there, I was there. Trust me, they ain't been at the House of Blues without me. If, especially both of them. Well, definitely Suge. Tupac might have been, but not Suge. But I don't even ever remember Tupac going to the House of Blues uh, without me and Suge either coming or I was on our way to there. Um, what happened at Club 662 is uh, Rizzo was in the VIP area. We had a little VIP area room. You know, when you get alcohol around, niggas start tripping and stuff. And um, he got a little mouthy with, I think it was a, my niggas from OFTB, as I remember. But it was some of the, the, the par rules of blood affiliated dudes. And Rizzo got his ass <laughs> He got his ass whooped in there. Where they ain't up. Snatching his tane while they were whooping his ass, right? And he's outnumbered. He, you know, no, no disrespect to the Wu Tang guys. Uh, the same thing would happen to us if we was on the East Coast and one of their clubs, I'm sure. But I got Rizzo out of there and took him through him and gave him to the police who was working the door. I remember dragging him, in, but the whole time he hollering, "They got my chain! They got my chain, man! They got my chain!" And so she asked me, what happened, man? Well, and I didn't really know. I knew it was somebody talking about it. And then Pac was like, man, that's Rizzo. They, 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 they just whooped on it. The Rizzo, I'm like, he ain't coming back in here, he, you know. Because I'm one of those that believe. You get in a fight with dudes in the club, one got to stay, one got to go. They both can't go in the parking lot at the same time because it's just going to continue there. But I usually tell the, the person inside, you better get out of here before first you get because that nigga going to be sitting in the parking lot waiting on you. But that's just my philosophy on, on security at a club. Even when we used to get into it, I'd be like, all right, shit, we got to go. We got to stay in here for a while because it's going to be on. Uh, so anyway, Rizzo kept complaining he didn't go to jail. I think Vegas PD got him away from there. Somebody got word to Park and Shook that, hey, man, you know, about his chain. And they had already knew about it. Pac and Sugar had already recovered it. And they got it back to Rizzo. They even told him, hey, if you want a fair one, you know, so this problem won't continue because we, you know, we cool with y'all Wu-Tang dudes. And, 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 you know, we got love for y'all. If you want a fair one, a head up, a, a score, y'all can have it. You know, we'll arrange it. But Rizzo's like, no, no, I just want my chain back and I'm good. Got his chain back, went on. So this recent interview that Method Man did about Pac and Suge looking at him weird and all of that. Uh, they didn't know. People on the East Coast was out there talking. Everybody took offense because Pac spoke on it like he was mad at the whole East Coast. And not just, and that's why it hit him up. He had to clarify and that's why he, I thought he did a good job of telling who he had a problem with in the song. They're trying to let him know. And that was because a dude named Big D and Eric B was telling him, Pac, and mainly Eric B, and Hammer, MC Hammer, was, Pac, if you ain't got a problem with the whole East Coast, you need to, you know, call names. Tell who you got a problem with. Because we can't take on the whole East Coast. That just ain't smart. That ain't good business. And so that's why Pac you know, started and tried to do the the Death Row East and the, the One Nation album. And in the song Hit Him Up, he, uh, you know, no, named the people that he had a problem with and then added and anybody with a motherfucking opinion. Uh, and so I'm saying all that to say, who knows what Pac knew until guys reached out to him and said, hey, man, I ain't getting to that. We're not in that war. As Method Man said, his position was in that particular interview that um, 
Puffy tried to make it seem like I was with him, like I was taking their side. And shit, I wasn't getting in the car with Puff. I wasn't letting it be known, especially being on the West Coast, I'm sure that's what he really wants to say. Letting them know that I'm riding with, with, with Puff and his guys on the East Coast in, in, in that war. No, I'm not in there. But I'm not saying Method Man not street savvy because he is. He's from a projects. So if he felt that uh, that way that he was about to get robbed, they were about to rob him, then how can I take what a man feels, especially a man that's, you know, street savvy? But I never heard that. And I don't believe they were tripping on Method Man like that. Because if so, even though we know how that song was originated with with the uh, Das and Method Man and Red Man for Pac, if Pac had a problem with them, no way in the world would they benefit it or would have been on that song if Pac really felt that way. Because let's keep it real. Did that song really bring or their verse bring any or a lot of value to to All Eyes on Me? It was a great song, but it wouldn't have made or break the album. Keeping it real. I know y'all be like, oh, that was my favorite song. Now is everybody's favorite song. Okay. But let me say this about Method Man. Love his career. Love what he doing. I love how he, he playing a part on my Power Series. 50 done made that boy a house all night. Even though he was with this lady, Method Man had this production company, Susan, I forget her name, white chick from out here. And uh, she had been trying to help him a lot uh, with getting his acting and his uh, movie career going or his um, acting career going. But I think Method Man did it now. He's more of a like a businessman, older man. And after he's done with the Power Series, he's going to get some good movies. So shout out to Method Man. I don't believe they were trying to rob you, though, bro. Uh, 